Dear students, in the last session, we have done the problems on mesh analysis and nodal analysis method. But in this session, I will explain the Thevenin's theorem. It states that a complex linear bilateral network having active or passive elements with two terminals can be replaced by a simple circuit containing a voltage source called Thevenin's voltage source VTH and a resistance called Thevenin's resistance RTH connected in series. That means it states that a complex linear bilateral network having active or passive elements or components with two terminals can be replaced by a simple circuit containing a voltage source VTH called Thevenin's voltage source and a resistance Thevenin's resistance connected in series with it. To find the Thevenin equivalent of a given circuit, step 1, I mean step first, consider the given network. Step 2, remove the load resistance and calculate the voltage at the load terminals that is VTH, that means Thevenin's voltage. Step 3, by looking back from the load terminals in the network, by replacing the voltage source by internal resistance and current source by open circuit, we can find the equivalent resistance that is RTH, that is nothing but a Thevenin's resistance. Step 4, replace the entire network by simple Thevenin's source of voltage VTH and a Thevenin's resistance RTH in series with it, that means it's connected in series with it. Step first, consider the given network, this is the given network. Step two, to find the Thevenin's voltage VTH, first remove the load resistance by open circuit in which the current is to be found and find the open circuit voltage which appears across the two terminal that is VO output voltage it is nothing but a Thevenin's voltage where resistance has to be removed. That means VO VO output voltage equals I into R2 I into I in I means the current in this mesh is I into R2. You know I equals E voltage E voltage divided by total resistance that means that means R1 plus R2 I equals to E divided by R1 plus R2. So, VO, VO equals, that means output voltage equals E into R2 divided by R1 plus R2, that is equals to VTH, that is nothing but a Thevenin's voltage. Like this, we can find the Thevenin's voltage. Next, step 3, find the equivalent resistance, that is nothing but a Thevenin's resistance RTH. By looking back from the load terminals in the network by replacing the voltage source by internal resistance, that means in this circuit the voltage source is shortened by the internal resistance and the current source by open circuit. The circuit, I mean this circuit can be extended like this. That means 
the terminals a and b is stretched it looks like this the resistances r1 and r2 are connected in parallel these two are connected in series with the r3 that means rth equals r1 parallel r2 plus r3 that's equals r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 so thevenin's resistance like this we can calculate the thevenin's resistance step 4 you know replace the entire network by simple thevenin source of voltage vth and a and re replace the entire network by simple thevenin source of voltage vth and thevenin resistance rth connected in series with it next step 5 finally by connecting the load resistance across the terminals and connect calculate the current to our voltage across the load finally by can connecting the load terminals load terminals i mean load resistance across the terminals a and b and calculate the current il and or voltage across the load uh, volt voltage across the load means v a b voltage across a and b you know il equals vth vth that means il the current il is flowing in this mesh means il equals vth v i mean voltage divided by total resistance means rth plus rl so voltage across a and b terminals a and b equals il il into rl like this we can find the il and vab next problem using thevenin's theorem find the current to four ohm resistor in the following network and find the voltage across the load this is the given network first step first consider the given network step 2 to find the thevenin's voltage vth first we must calculate the output voltage vo vo that means remove the load resistance by open circuit in which the current is to be found and find the open circuit voltage open circuit voltage vo which appears across the two terminals where resistance has to be removed that means vo equals i into i into r2 i into r2 next i equals you know the i equals to voltage i mean e divided by total resistance r1 plus r2 vo equals e equals to 8 divided by r1 plus r2 1 plus 1 ohm into r2 1 so vo equals to 8 divided by 2 that's equals to 4 volts that's equals to vth thevenin's voltage equals to 4 volts as the load is open there is no potential drop across the r3 therefore the potential difference between the two terminals between the terminals a and b a and b is same as that of the between the x and y once again as the load is open there is no potential drop across r3 
Therefore, the potential difference between the terminal A and B is same as that of between the X and Y. This voltage is called Thevenin's voltage. Step 3. Find the equivalent resistance. You know the Thevenin's the equivalent resistance is equal to the Thevenin's resistance RTH. By looking back from the load terminals in the gear network by replacing the voltage source by internal resistance and current source by open circuit. This circuit can be extended like this. That means the terminals A and B is structured. It looks like this. You know the resistance R1 and R2 are connected in parallel and these two resistance are connected in series with the R3. Therefore, RTH equals to R1 parallel R2 plus R3. You know the RTH equals to R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. That's equals to 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus R3 equals to 2 ohm. So, plus 2. That's equals to 5 by 2. That's equals to 2.5 ohm. The terminal resistance equals to 2.5 ohm. Step 4. Replace the entire network by simple Thevenin source of voltage VTH. That means we got the VTH equals to 4 volts and a Thevenin resistance RTH. RTH equals to 2.5 ohm that is connected in series with it. Next, step 5. Finally, by connecting the load terminals, I mean, finally, by connecting the load resistance across the terminal A and B and calculate the current through our voltage across the load. That means, we must calculate the value of IL. IL equals to VTS divided by RTH plus RL. That means, you know the IL, the current IL is flowing in the mesh, in this mesh. So, IL equals to voltage VTH divided by RT, RTH plus RL. You know the VTH equals to 4 volts, RTH equals to 2.5 ohm plus RL load resistance is equals to 4 ohm. 4 divided by 2.5 plus 4. That is equals 8 divided by 13. That is equals 0.615 amp. Next, we can also calculate the voltage across the load. That means A and B. Load terminals A and B. VAB equals IL into RL. So, VAB equals to 0.615 into 4. So, that is equals 2.46 volts. Like this, we can calculate the current through our voltage across the load. Thank you.